what is going on guys we are back with another video today it's weird because <laughs> the stream is like what do you mean we're back we've been here the whole time you've done two intros this is weirding us out but it is the wild card round we got done showing the stats and awards a little bit ago and by a little bit ago this could be multiple days ago for you if you're watching on youtube uh and uh you can see that we are facing up against the cleveland browns and if you did miss that episode you would miss that we are actually in a blizzard it's going to be a blizzard-like condition game, and even if it doesn't, which would be really weird if they decided to cancel the snow, we still get the slowness of the snow. Uh, as you can see, that uh, all the like kind of athletic things drop down four, maybe five. I think it was four though. Uh, all the other stuff. Did this show any like drops? I don't. I don't know if they did. Like route running or anything doesn't seem to be down, but obviously speed, excel, and agility is down. Change direction as well, which is is rough, especially with a guy like Josh Jacobs who already basically plays with negative four and speed excel and agility and all that is he's now an 84 speed player we're gonna have to keep an eye on all of that because uh our once decent mismatches are kind of not so great i mean look at waller though i mean he's he's drained to still be faster than the majority of the tight ends of the league that's absolutely nuts of course our main man Cleveland farrell who has had a hell of a season uh, 85 overall, of course, we have that plus four to, uh, well, the boost of the team is you got a plus 10 to uh, a lot of the smarts, you know, tackles, play rec, awareness, all that. Really big opportunity here to upset the Browns. Can we do it, though? I mean, I don't know. It's I really can't tell because this whole snow thing is is definitely an added factor, especially when your quarterback is, you know, he's decent, but he's also had a really bad game last week. Of course, the Bills having those, uh, you know, dual weekly win there obviously it wasn't the playoff so it's pretty impressive to get both in you know a league of 16 so i mean it's pretty impressive but let's uh let's change our staff stuff as well because obviously we're not going to expect to to stop them to zero points although i will say if there was ever a chance to do it it would probably be in this one win the turnover battle i think that's key to winning this thing running for 150 plus is also key to winning this thing Sacking the quarterback three times is probably huge, but what can we do? Picking it off twice. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it, especially with the Browns not even probably needing to throw this game. But once again, all things that we feel like we need to have happen to win. So that might as well be the goal. And I guess we might as well also, while we're there, even though we just backed out, might as well uh, upgrade something. What were we even going for? Or did we reach that goal? Let's do the block shed. Why not? Of course, I did lower the, uh, or may I suppose raised the uh, the need for points, or how many points you need to upgrade stuff. Just because I feel once again, it, it's kind of quick. Like it, you know, it's too quick to get stuff. Uh, also, gameplay slider has been adjusting them a little bit more here and there because of the weather. I'm gonna keep it at 23, but I felt like 24 would have been perfect for QB accuracy uh, before I adjusted it. 25 felt like Trubisky and all these other bad quarterbacks. Well quote-unquote statistically bad quarterbacks rating wise uh, we're just hitting every throw so I kind of like the way this is so if you're wondering there it is and uh, of course punt accuracy to 100 because the AI is just so bad at punting you pretty much have to do it and uh, we'll do our weekly strategy which is pretty much going to be stop the run do the run yeah that's going to be a bit of a battle it's going to be a bit of a battle 99 overall for uh for Chubb, gotta love it. And I think you gotta full pads this. Of course, we have a couple of backups in and whatnot, but fatigue is just kind of irrelevant here. You, you kind of have to just go for it all. And uh, once again, run inside, stop in the run inside. That's that's the win. You know, whoever wins the trenches today is probably gonna move on. Alex Leatherwood, uh, looking at the ratings, you know, plus one across. Not, I mean, he's actually not terrible. How old is he, 24? 23 i mean he's got time uh, we have some backups this was arthur ramsey does come into the game at times maybe not so much tyree cleveland though agility release yeah i mean that's that's something it's not great it's something though yeah this you could tell it's bad because the snow is going through the the metal grate thing that's literally covered uh but here blizzard like conditions i don't know if i agree with that it's it seems it seems pretty tame. There's just a bit of snow, you know? It's just, there's just a bit of snow. That's really all it is. But looking at the uh, QBR and all that, I can't tell if that's glitched or not. Or if, like, players are playing that badly. Also, would you even be able to pull out the, the flag for this? 
So I feel like by the time you're done singing the national anthem and all that, there would just be a pile of snow right in the middle and they wouldn't even be able to wrap it up because it's too freaking heavy. That's just, I mean, there's a lot of snow. There's a lot of snow, but once again, a blizzard typically means wind, right? There's, I mean, and there's not a crazy bunch of wind, you know? I, I want this snow whipping at us. I want it to where I can't even see where the hell I'm going, especially since we're kind of wearing mainly white. We should basically blend in. We should, it should basically camouflage. But of course, uh, their players, I mean, they don't look like they're ready for the snow though. Like we've got sleeves on and you know, they're just not protected at all from the cold. They're at home, so they should be ready for this. Not so much us, but we'll see. We'll see who hits the ground running and uh, whether, you know, it's us or them. It's, it's not going to be hitting the ground running too fast though. You can see, like I said, with those sleeves, we got sleeves all over. They, not so much. Not so much. And I, uh, yeah, night game in the snow, perfection. All right, Baker Mayfield, um, gotta get some, you know, see the thing on the bottom there, that number? Gotta get that number higher today, even though technically it can't because it's the postseason. But, you know, you get the point. Obviously, getting Baker to throw a pick or two would be masterful. And by the time this game is over, my eyes are going to be crusted up. Oh, that is, that is harmful. That is harmful to the environment. That cutback made me pay. That was supposed to be my uh, containment. Didn't think he was going to cut it back that hard. Also, why do they have to have the midfield thing? Like, it's just, I think that's the first down marker when it's not. There you go. Littleton with the stop. Gladney in there as well. They get nothing. Big run on the first play. Nothing on the second. Fair enough. Okay, fair enough. Not, not terrible. All right, Byers playing a lot of snaps lately. Ah, uh, there. Oh, get him. There he goes. Gresham with the sack. Baker Mayfield lacking critical knowledge. That would be taunting. I mean, I know that's not what he was trying to do, but he did it. It's, I don't think trying to do uh, matters in this case. I mean, that would have been taunting. But yeah, 11 yard sack. Baker holds on too long outside, and they're not going to go there. But he has a chance. Huge hit by Kwiatkowski on who is that? Jarvis Landry. We'll let that every day of the week. You know, they can have it. Of course, it's going to set up a punt, but a bit of win. Maybe it'll benefit us, Martin. You know, hey, Martin. What up, Martin? How's your day going? There you go, Martin. Got to talk to these guys, and they'll they'll do things for you. Oh, we just got crunched, had the lane, and we kind of kind of went back too hard. Maybe tried too hard to do something. But here he is, the Trubisco, the guy that could just have himself everything. You know, of course, he has the one-year 22 mil into next season. So his financial future is set. But who knows? Maybe he gets restructured. Maybe even gets longer extension, especially after the draft. If we, we don't come out with a player, we just hate it. You know, he maybe he just gets paid hardcore. And here, Waller probably should have taken it. We're going to go to Jacobs there. Oh, my Lord. Is this going to be that game? <laughs> don't tell me that's going to. this is what we're going to be dealing with. True. And that is a perfectly timed throw, and Cooper gets a ton of yards. How are we hitting that throw under pressure from missing the throw to Jacobs? You know what? I'll take it. Okay, I'll take it. But still, it could I mean we could have had better than that throw to Jacobs, simply put. But first and ten play action. We said the ground game was gonna be big today. It hasn't been. And there goes Jacobs. Nobody in sight. And Jacobs may be slow, but he is a powerful man. And we're going to get it all the way down to the nine yard line. And that's how you're supposed to celebrate. You can't taunt anyone. Just pretend like you're a good little soldier and get back to making us money. Says the, the rich guys, not me. I'm, I'm speaking for them. I'm not them. Uh, Deshaun Jackson gets the handoff and a perfect block from Edwards. I feel like I've been harsh on Edwards lately. But the one thing that he does do pretty damn well, and it is blocking. It is for sure blocking. And, you know, I normally like to skip the kick, but uh, I don't think I can. Also, where's the arrow? I, like, I don't know. Like, Jesus. Yeah, that's going to be a disaster. Is that intended? I, I don't feel like that's intended. But hell of a start, though, to stop the Browns. And then, more importantly, go down and score a touchdown. Once again, every team is slower than normal but i suppose we are a team that's always thrived still being slower so we're kind of used to it we're we're used to the slower reactions and all that so this i mean i i thought it was going to be a huge disadvantage but maybe it's going to be an advantage who knows only time will tell 
as oh lord that is yeah good job go low that's how you get these guys down especially these i know chubb's kind of like a dual style but these kind of bigger guys you know that rely on momentum you know go down low on their legs and crush them oh lord that's a good play abram not bad actually pretty good tackle and i keep getting to be fair i keep getting tricked by the freaking midfield thing i'm like oh that's it's far away from the first like oh it's not damn unfortunate uh, monty we kind of give up containment but we had him and that will be a first down near midfield and their tight end hooper speaking of blockers not a bad blocker does get injured there and the way he was trying to help up no one tells me maybe it's a concussion cleveland Forces the ball out early. That's only going to be a gain of about two yards. We'll take that. Our Texans always so good in sim. Eh, it's because of Watson. You got to remember Watson is in the game and I forget to change him out. <laughs> He's got a quick throw to the outside. He's got, oh, what is Chubb doing there? I feel like that's all Chubb. I feel like May Baker, Baker also had other throws, but I mean, Chubb's one of your dependable superstars. So why wouldn't you go to him? and picked off by merrick gets run and we're just gonna go out of bounds not bad yo are we gonna actually beat the browns this is like the upset of the century if we do and here oh my lord why did we agree to run into their superstars hey who is this why is he miles should not be that athletic to be able to get over to the other side I think it's a good call on the play action. There's nobody inside. Oh, we could have maybe went over to Cooper, but Trubisky takes it all the way to the 14. Nobody in sight. The Browns just, like, don't look ready. Play action again. Oh, is that Deshaun? The throw is perfect. It's a touchdown. I do not know what is happening, but I want that to continue. None of this is what I meant. Uh, get up there. Oh, Diablo. All right, not bad. Of course, Chubb is having a good start. It's just they can't trust Baker. I mean, this is kind of what I was I think I wasn't worried about it. I was I'm, I was hoping for it. Is Kwiatkowski is going to get there? No, he will not. Wow, that is a long time to throw. And now another injuries, but this time on our side of the field, the rookie Gresham, of course, we do have backups for things like this in case this happens, but you know, it's not fun to lose players to injury. Just saying. Third and eight. Try to go for the speed rush. Can't get there. And are we just locking up? It's a fumble. What is happening? 21 to zero in the first quarter. These sliders are literally the same as last week. You know, the week where we uh, barely beat the Rams. Oh, there goes the kick. Yep, that's great. Barely missed the accuracy. So when it's not 21 to zero, it's... It's 20 to zero. Like, are they just like, do they have like a bad scheme? Because I know some teams in the game are actually really easy to beat while others aren't, even though they're not as good. And there, I mean, there's really no one open there, but he gets about seven or eight. Odell Beckham still exists on the Browns. Like, look at these short throws. And they, I mean, I don't know, dude. They don't look ready, dude. I don't want to allow the home run play to exist, but at the same time, if we stop them here, I'm not saying we like win the game, but I mean... A first quarter win in the playoffs? Question mark. I'm just saying, very well possible with these sliders. Oh my, that's not a good idea. Cooper does recover pretty well though, and gets out of bounds to the 34. Do we go for the for the dagger? I mean, it's not really open. Yeah, we're gonna get sacked there. That's we should have probably slowed it down. We we saw the light at the end of the tunnel, maybe a little too much. Yeah, we are. I mean, we're kind of selling here. Like, we we had their necks pressed down into the ground, and we let up. We let up. Although, it wasn't the worst idea in the world. It just didn't happen. You know, underneath, and Drake's going to get some of the yards back, I suppose, but that's going to be a pun. So, the, the Browns, they do step up a little bit on defense, but obviously their offense is still far from getting the job done in here that i mean they're making it easy on the defense man you got one wide receiver wide i mean we gotta know it's a run right like what is this this play calling is is pretty bad from cleveland so far i mean this is like 
the largest long con of all time if they're just setting this up for the freaking uh, play action. I mean, at some point, it's got to pay off if it's going to be a, a, a decision. Oh, look, look at Cleveland getting locked up. If they don't convert here. And that is pitiful. Oh, my. Yo, that was like super speed clap. What the hell? Going for the freaking record here. Uh, I mean, 20 to 0. Can we hold? Can we keep up? Can we hold on? And to the outside. Mullen gets the pick. What is happening? Yo. Baker is, is awful. Is the snow like affecting them even more than us i i literally on these sliders in this franchise on next gen we have never come close to do, to dominating a team like this like not even close we we just we just had a close battle against the rams and here we are against the browns and we beat them in the first quarter when we play against a team like the texans we don't expect a game like this with these sliders let alone the freaking Browns. That play action uh, formula is not working for them at all. Our corners are locking. And they are still trying to run. Huge hit on Chubb there. If we run and they run, I think together we can end this game in 35 minutes. So, hey, let's see if we can try to do something here, Cleveland. Let's work together. Yeah, there's the clear-cut route. Odell gets it, but... I mean, almost fights his way out of the first down there. Once again, go back to that ground game. We're not gonna, we're not gonna worry about it. The rookie gets spun right to the ground. Quick throw underneath. We missed hard there. Try to go for the big hit. I suppose somebody's got to get it because they're not getting it to anyone at the moment. Oh, that is a wide open Chubb. Good tackle. Chubb's taking a pounding early in this game though. He's getting hit hard. But of course, Cleveland, as you would expect, they aren't gonna just completely get rolled over on, but. You know, still a really good start for us, obviously. Oh, my. Get up there. Oh, Jesus. Popped. Where's Kareem Hunt? He might have actually left. I didn't even think about that. Might have actually left through free agency. There's really not a need to have that many talented running backs. Fiakowski, good D. They pulled Chubb to put some backups in there. Because, of course, like I said, Chubb kind of getting worn out and, you know, getting hit hard. Give me a tough one, but I think you bring the blitz. Makes sense. And, yeah, we just got burned. Bryant's on the touchdown. So, Cleveland does get on the board. They don't get shut out. I mean, apparently the coach actually had a good idea of potentially, uh, you know, calling the shutout there. But, yeah, they're going to have seven. So, down 20. And I can't remember if we get ball in half or not. But regardless of the point, as long as we can even score three points per drive, I don't imagine we can lose. But then again, there's a lot of football game left. There is so much. Like, I, and once again, I didn't even know if we were going to score maybe a touchdown or two. So if that actually becomes a reality in the second half, that gives Cleveland plenty of time to try and come back into this one as that is an amazing play by Clowney as I thought we were just gone. I thought we were past him. Let's go with the double drag look. Could be a quick throw to Jacobs out the backfield. There's Waller, and it's stuff like that that gives your opponent a chance. I mean, once again, it is it is very, very early in this game. Very early. This is almost the same play we just ran, but Waller's on the wheel instead. And another missed throw by Trubisky. That is basically no time off the board and a punt. There's nothing I can do about that. Oh, wow. What a, that was probably an illegal block in the back, but still, we kind of got pushed into Felton there. And uh, I don't know what's happened to, to what's his name? Chubb is like dead. Spin move. We got smashed. There's no one there. Guys, 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 guys. Let's, let's not do what we, you know, we all are seeing is potentially doable here. We are not going to lose this game after putting up, what, 27 unanswered in the beginning? And that's a wide open drag. He's not going to take it. He takes that one instead. And a really good pop by Gladney. These knees, the Browns' kneecaps are being claimed today. They are being claimed, right, Cleveland? Kind of getting locked up on the interior. There's nobody in sight. Mullen one on one. Good tackle, though. To the eight, the Browns, I mean, they're definitely climbing back into this one. This is 
I don't know what happened to them, but maybe it's just the wind. I mean, I, I, it's a possibility. It is a very clear possibility. And there's nobody on this guy again. That's not our job. We had the hook. I know, I mean, technically our hook was there, but the other guy was manned up with him. And just like that, Cleveland has 14. There goes Kenyon Drake, finding a little bit of room, gains about five maybe. No matter what happens here, we got to make sure that we are the last team to possess the ball before halftime. That is all that matters here. There's nothing that matters more than that fact. And I don't trust any throw. I don't care how open Deshaun was there. I don't trust any throw. Uh, halfback stretch. Man, they really do not want us to run the ball, which makes sense with the way we're throwing. And Jacobs kind of gets bumped on. He fumbles. Oh, my God. Richie Incognito, you hero. I don't even know how he fumbled. What happened? All I know is I seen the ball just come out free. Oh, 21. Denzel was stripping it. I didn't even see that. Sean, let's go with the drag. Jesus. And then he misses. Ooh, lay hit on the quarterback, please. It is. I get it. I get it, right? Miles Garrett, whoever that was, smoked off the edge. And, uh, you know, when you beat that quickly and the quarterback just outsmarts you with a quick throw, I mean, it's it's hard to, you know, dial it back and say, okay, fair enough. You know, you want the... the oh, Lord. Throw it away. All right, we're just going to hold on to the ball there. Kind of ran into pressure there. Waller was kind of open out the gate. But the problem with that was that he was running into danger. So maybe if I would have won the low throw, it would have been tough. But green pass, there's nobody there. And either is the blocking. And I thought that was a first down, but that's just midfield, dude. Once again, the goal is to uh, just not give them possession. No, no, no. To not give them possession before half. And we'll at least be able to hold some sort of lead, right? Double move, five wide. I mean, we haven't hit him with five wide. We've been playing a little conservatively, but... And again, we can't even hit throws that are short anyway, so. And we're in a bit of trouble there. And that was actually not bad, but Cooper just doesn't locate it. And they do get the ball before half. Not terrible field position either. That's, I mean, that's just good defense. The pass rush is absolutely working. I can't double up Miles Garrett because Clowney is just going to break free if, if I do. So, I mean, we're going to try it because obviously, there you go. Cleland. And there goes Okuda down to the 36. Cleland getting some pressure in the face of Baker. And clearly that interception was, uh, it was tactical. It was the, obviously, it was the reason why we did it. Waller could be my look. They're shading outside, so it's not. And that's not bad. And you can see that speed just absolutely disappeared as soon as we threw that shot in there. That's a bit of a yikes. I thought Edwards had him. He had a step, and then as soon as we threw it, it seems like the that step went away. And look at the speed at which... And there's going to be a drop. Look at the speed at which they're they're getting to us. Of course, I don't really like the situation to even try to get a, a field goal. It would be nice to get the clock moving, though, at least. Waller. And he's going to be short, I think, is he? Oh, he's not. Okay, let's call timeout then. It's hard to tell. The damn first down line's like blending in. Let's go to verticals. Might be able to hit Waller again. I don't trust that outside look. Waller, that's got to be caught, dude. You're like one of the best players in the entire league. You got to catch that. We couldn't go with a possession because if we go possession there, that's potential interception because he's going to have to short arm it to grab it. All right, play action. Waller, it's dangerous throw. Especially with our quarterback, at least, throwing it that far out. It's not been a good game for quarterbacks, I'll tell you what. Not that we're, you know, we're shocked by this, but still. Just throwing that information out there. It's it's factual. And I wish Edwards on the, the right side, but he's not. And that's just a bad sack to take. Either way, it'll lead to a field goal attempt, at least. Of course, making it harder on Daniel Carlson, but, like, doesn't really matter. It's Daniel Carlson. I think it does matter. I think we just missed. We didn't. It doesn't matter. Easy money, dude. But looking at the stats, of course, kind of let up a little bit in that second quarter. The Browns climbed back into it. But, of course, we are still leading by a significant amount. Looking at the other games, are those finals or not? I don't know if those are finales because 
the middle game is really high scoring where the bottom isn't. So I, I wouldn't be able to tell you, but obviously the run inside and stop the run inside has been definitely effective thus far. So we're going to go right back to it. And uh, we can see some of the scores on the bottom there. It seems like a lot of quarterbacks having some issues in the postseason here. And uh, that was out of our own end zone, I believe. But it's Cooper. He give him a chance every day of the week. Let's get back to the ground game. It's something we uh, haven't been able to do because they've been stacking. But you're not a bad looking start to it. There you go. We'll take it. Jacobs bouncing off. Gains about nine. Maybe even take the chance to throw it deep here. Uh, I mean, you have an X factor no matter what going up against you, so... <laughs> Go with the play action anyways. And that's just, I mean, that's just a wasted opportunity. We get the first down, but uh, do we go to the outside? No, we'll keep it in. Kenyon Drake, quick throw. Kenyon Drake fighting. Gets about half to the outside. Could be good. Trubisky, let's go. Gains about eight right up the middle. Perfect. Perfect blocking there. Open up the inside, and we were good to run. And Deshaun, you want to show off a little bit of speed? I don't know how much speed you have today, but enough, perhaps. And we have options. Stay there. Damn it, we sold. Oh, look at Trubisky just <laughs> hurtling over. Like, with the way we've thrown today, I just don't trust anything on the run. I don't trust anything with our players running away from the ball. I want people to be sitting still, and I just couldn't get that. And we will take Waller. I was going to look for Deshaun, who did get open as well, but he was going up against a superstar. Who was that superstar? Was it Delpit? Is it not good? Oh, wow. What a throw. Maybe I can trust. That was a dime. Maybe the best throw of the day for 20. This is a huge drive. After all the selling in the second, I'm telling you, that, that wind apparently it matters that much. Look at the cutback. Oh, huge hit. That was a huge run, though. Gained five on that cup. That was filthy. Oh, they did. Pretty good job. I can't hit Waller there. There's someone behind it. True! What a block by Drake, and we get the touchdown. Perfect drive, perfect response, and maybe the dagger. I'm not going to go out and say it is. And we're kicking pretty well today. I mean, we missed, like, what, one extra point? I mean, look at the wind. Like, I mean, don't blame me, right? Praise me. Wow. Oh, Jerome, you're kicking really well today. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, you just donated three Ferraris to the stream? Oh, no, thanks. Oh, I mean, I'll drive two of them and donate one to charity. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, then I wake up from my dream and back to this. Get over there, Okuda. Please, thank you. All right, defense. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, what actually did happen to Chubb? Is he actually injured? Also, why are they running with a fullback? He must be injured. And if he is, why wouldn't they change their game plan? I don't... I don't understand. Oh, back it up. That's all right. Yeah, I don't know what their game plan is. Was it just ride the hell out of Chubb and then... Okay, that's weird to say. And then just call it? Like, you're running your fullback. But sure. We just got handled again. I mean, we've had a pretty good day with our corner, so I'm not going to blame them for missing on that opportunity, but... Yeah, it would have been nice. It would have been nice. No idea where he is. Max. Oh, Max made a good, good play there. Jarvis has been really quiet in this game. And anytime he gets the ball, it seems like it's really short. Barely a gain. And then he gets hammered afterwards. All right, everything's kind of to the left. Once again, that's the fullback, I believe. Getting the handoff. Although, he gains a decent bit. <laughs> fullback. I don't know what they're doing. I think they actually think the game is close still or something. I mean, getting down the field is one thing, but giving yourself no chance to get a stop and score, I don't know. No, AIs did trades. And Mullen almost had a chance there. Ball is just way overthrown. And we let the running back go. Mullen, not bad. No, Mullen. We went with the man press because we thought they were going to try to get the ball off quick, which obviously that's one way to counter that. But we still have an opportunity on defense. If we get the stop here, I mean, it basically ends the game as well. And there's just wide open, and open players everywhere. What is this? I was about to say, it looked kind of like a, a read or something. Do they have the momentum? Good blocking. No stiff arm, really, though. 
How do they have the momentum? They're losing by 15. Of course, Waller gets injured, which, I mean, you got to remember, assuming we hold on, which is, you know, the intention, and we do have to play another game after this, so these injuries, not fun. Jacobs, they, I mean, they feel like they're getting close to knocking the ball out almost every play. Definitely worried about that. Up the middle, and Jacobs kind of gets locked up by his own guy. Come on, dude. Do you get the first down, though? Clutch. Abdominal tear. Abdominal tear for by far the best player on this offense. That is not good, dude. Edwards. Nice. A little behind him, but that's fine. Stays in bounds. Not that it really matters, but damn, an abdominal tear. So even if we win this game, which it looks like we are going to do, that's a, a huge L. Maybe Foster Moreau can make a case for himself to be re-signed. As Jacobs going to gain about nine. You know, Jacobs is, is now the number one guy on the offense. Second and one. We're getting some good pushes, though, I will say. Maybe not perfect. There you go. Although it takes us to the 10. Start of the fourth now. Uh, you know, the... Pass rush has killed us, but as far as the ground games go, going, we're actually having some good blocks. Once again, that was the focus, is go for the... Well, excuse me? Can I change this? What to say, uh, you know, we've been focusing on going out in the middle, which is also what we've been focused on stopping, so it makes sense, but it doesn't mean it needs to be perfect, as Kenyon Drake takes it to the two. Points allowed. They're six on the season. Of course, you do have to admit that a lot of their points have directly come from and indirectly come from uh, turnovers. Got the linemen out there. Play action. And that's, you know, that's just perfect D. I thought we could catch him off guard, but of course the AI never gets caught off guard. And once again, we're, we're in such a good driver's seat. I'm not going to risk that. I'm just going to run it. As long as, you know, we don't fumble or anything like that. I mean, it's, it's pretty safe sailing. Although, hey, in a little bit of a room. A little bit of a chance inside there for a moment. That wind has been nuts, though. Also, I don't know where my kicking bar has been gone half this game, but I've just kind of eyeballed it. All right, you know the drill, boys. Back them up. Back them up. Dink and Dime City or Dunk City, you can have it, and maybe they can't. As, of course, we do now know that the, ti the Titans did lose. So uh, we might be facing the... No, nah, I don't think we would because they they're the away team, but we'll be facing another AFC North team. That is a great drive down by Kwiatkowski. Only a gain of five. I mean, they're down significant points. Three possessions, eight minutes left. It would take some sort of crazy miracle. We have had uh, onside kicks completed against us, so... Oh, look at the D by Kwiatkowski again! And now uh, Jack Conklin's gone. Oh, Littleton levitating. Nice. To the outside. Get... No. Nope. Kwiatkowski. Oh, that's a miss. That's a miss dive. That is uh, a bit of a miss. Ah, uh, missed. Janikowski's had himself a, a little bit of a day, right? He's done well for a slower, older fullback. Yeah, the Browns have showed that they can be competent, but they just they put themselves away in the first quarter. I mean, literally, they're on par to not even put up the points that they gave us in the first quarter. Oh, we missed hard there. Like, they, they could get stopped here, and, you know, once again, we would have won the game in the first, just off of points. Good tackle. Yeah, I don't think you can run the ball anymore. I know it's harsh to deal with, but you can't. Cleland. Cooper. To the four. Once again, we're not making it easy on them at all. You know, they're driving down, but once again, they, they're not getting a freebie. And Kwiatkowski pushes one of the guys kind of off a little bit and then gets the angle he needed, stopping him to the three. Could you imagine they get denied of a touchdown here? That would be harsh. Kwiatkowski, oh, we missed hard there. De denied! Trayvon Merrig! He outpowered! How did he outpower him? There's no way! And denied. I don't know where Chubb's been, but he comes back in and he's short. There's no way they get denied here. There's no way. Blow it up, boys. And they get stopped. If that was like a, a game where that could have been for the tie, that would have been like one of the greatest goal line stands ever. But it's not. So no one cares. 
<laughs> no one asked. Oh my, that's impressive. As Jacobs, once again, not fast today, really, but still had himself a very good game. Great blocks, great power. Comes great responsibility. Catch him offside or off guard for the dagger. I mean, there should be no reason for them to be ready for this. And there goes Trubisky. Perfect blocking. Just go down. Just go down. Hey, number four, what are you doing there, pal? I mean, try to get like a sneaky injury force in there? What was that about? There was no need for that now. That was kind of harsh. That's kind of unneeded. Look at Jacobs with the fake there. That was beautiful. Made it look like he was going for the cutback. Made the guy hesitate and then just took the lane. The guy was stood still. And then he got blocked because of it, I believe. Two minute warning. The game's basically over, but still it's fun to just make them our little B. You know what I mean? Little B. If they call a timeout here. And Jacob says no timeout can be called. Runs through him for a second there in that second quarter. Let's all be honest. Let's let's all just get it out uh, right here, right now. We all thought it was going to be a choke. We all did. We all believed it was going to, but it wasn't. The snow was our playground, which is kind of strange because we were the away team. And honestly, let's hope for another snow game because we looked really, really good there. We looked very hard to beat, honestly. So impressed by the team impressed with what we were able to do uh, both teams kind of celebrating their seasons we move on the browns disappoint once again the pressure was definitely tougher on us it's just our coverage was better than theirs was once again like i said i feel like we're more used to being the team that's slow so when you have to develop things and play differently that's kind of our game you know the browns definitely have some speed at different positions uh, specifically at cornerback we weren't able to utilize that speed that much of course baker was really rough trubisky missed a lot of wide open throws and you know some plays and kind of climbed them back into it momentum wise but ultimately once again that first quarter deficit they just they just built too much of a deficit the ground game was really good across the board for us basically uh and receiving game i mean there was nobody that really had a game teal had one big play and that was about it uh, defensively sack totals you know they had a lot of pressure a lot of success there and uh you know that's pretty much the result of this thing not a bad game not bad at all got a couple of upgrades i imagine all of this stuff will be gone so stiff arm would be nice to upgrade but i think we can get him to 90 plus a, a juke move and maybe even get like a speed or something we do get him 90 plus gets the change of direction so uh, i guess we'll go back to power back after that for this uh, for his upgrades max crosby gets a finesse upgrade or a speed upgrade one to finesse gets 286 brian edwards kind of needs a lot of everything i'm gonna go with just pure route runner we, do we even get a single upgrade overall uh overall upgrade oh a speed upgrade for byron brian edwards is only 89 speed after a speed upgrade i knew he was slow but i didn't think he was that slow i thought he was 89 speed i guess not block shot plus two Everyone else is kind of a backup. Oh, core. Go with power, even though it's probably what we need is accuracy. It doesn't really matter, though. You get it, the same upgrades anyways. Oh, actually got a kick power upgrade. That's impressive. Almost never see kick power upgrades for kickers and punters. But hey, let's uh, let's do our last hurrah, our hot opponent, our blizzard, and and be happy we're moving on to the divisional. All right. Two more wins, and we're in the Super Bowl. The guys are rallying around Richie and ready to win it all for him. For him, I mean, I don't, I don't know about that, but... I mean, maybe, I, I guess. But what do we get? Any uh, morale? So 10 morale to all the players, which is nice because we were basically negative morale. Well, outside of the plus 10 to play rec and tackle and all that. Let's see it. Let's go. I'm glad we uh, could reward your faith, coach, and put the right kind of pressure on us to deliver and fire the guys up. I'm going to retire. <laughs> Bye. Still the Browns momentum. And, oh, we got the, the thing again, and we get XP. Might have more upgrades after weekly strategy next week. Ooh, also injury. I forgot about Waller. How many weeks? Four! We have lost Waller for the postseason. Divisional. Wait, so three for the divisional. Four for the... Or two for the conference. One for the Pro Bowl. Maybe the Super Bowl he comes back? I don't know, but it's it's not looking promising. That's all I can tell you there. Uh, let's take a look at the playoff blizzard thing in all my years of playing football. I'm not sure I've ever been a part of a game where it felt like the snow might be the best option. Shoes, snowshoes would be the best option. 
Okay, dude. Funny, man. Yeah, that's that's what we would do. I'll never forget this weekend. So glad uh, I'll be able to remember it as a victory. Burr. Okay. More XP. Also staff points. All right. Tons of staff points. Tons of XP. And that is basically it as we upset the bronze in a major way. Unbelievable start to that game. You know, kind of faltered a little bit. Kind of showed our true colors, but ultimately did enough. That's the kind of performance it's going to take is taking the ball away, scoring off of those plays, setting up short, easier field goals and touchdowns. Uh, if we want to try and make a run of this, but obviously taking out a team like the Browns, is very hopeful, you know, gives us a lot of hope going into the divisional. Who do we play? We'll find out next episode, which I was going to stream tonight, but I think just to make sure as many people as possible see this video, I think we are just going to do it Sunday night at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time, exactly, unless the um, the Monday night or the Sunday night football game just is like the greatest game of all time. Unless it's the greatest game of all time, it should be exactly at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time that we will be streaming this matchup. So definitely take a look at that. I don't know if this would have been the first or second video of the day. Uh, if it wasn't, spoiler, uh, or if it is, anyways, spoiler, Fantasy Draft Updated Guide is going to be out later today. And I think we'll do the rebuild of that literally tomorrow. So lots more content to come. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys did, maybe leave a like, subscribe for new, follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care, second channel, PK Plays, and then twitch.tv slash Jumpy Care for streams. That's basically it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys come back for next video, but until next video, see ya!